Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for December 23. Even if you don't pick up any of these, still great to look at them to see if they inspire you to build something. Just watching some of these assets is enough to fire up my imagination. I can immediately picture all the kinds of games that I could build. This one is a list of paid assets and effects. I've already made two videos covering the best free new assets and the best tools and systems. As always, there's links to the asset in the description, and as bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Before we begin, just a quick mention, the Unity Humble Bundle is ending in about two days. This one is a great deal with a ton of tools and a bunch of visual assets. And the Unity Asset Store is also having their New Year sale. Pretty much all of the top sellers, all of the best assets and tools, all of those are discounted. And there's even a coupon for an extra 10% off. Or specifically, if you're looking for low poly assets, then the Synthi sale is also having their great holiday sale. As usual, it's their excellent style, so if you're a fan of it, definitely check it out. Alright, so starting off with a really gorgeous nature environment. It looks really calm, really inviting, it's got a great semi-stylized look. This could be the perfect starting point for some kind of wilderness adventure game, something like Breath of the Wild. Or if instead you need some really cool looking robots, check out this one. They are all really unique. There are some that look quite cute and some that look very imposing. All of them with tons of unique animations for movement and using their various weapons. It includes a minigun, flamethrower, and even some homing missiles. I think this pack looks absolutely gorgeous. Personally, I'd love to use this in some kind of game. Maybe an RTS or maybe some kind of open world game where these are the enemies populating the world. You can get this bundle with 9 robots or each one individual. Then if you're making something in first person and need some animations, check out this one. This features a pistol and a knife, so this would be great for some kind of stealth game. You've got animations for walking, running, jumping, shooting, blocking, inspecting the weapon, and so on. This dev has tons of awesome animations, including separate knife and pistol animations. And then of course, if you have some shooting, you're going to need some targets. If so, check out this fun pack. This would be perfect for one of those tutorial stages. Or maybe some of those target practice score attack modes. This features lots of cardboard targets with everything. Personally, I'd love to pick this one up and try making some kind of VR shooter demo. And of course, if you have shooting, maybe you need some modular assault rifles. If so, look at this one. This is a really impressive pack with an insane amount of customization. You've got lots of stocks, barrels, scopes, grips, lots of cartridges, and tons more. For example, you can use this with my weapon attachment system to get a near infinite amount of weapon variation. The models also include all kinds of parameters for modifying the amount of dirt or metal or plastic damage. Next here is a fun effect with some edge detection. This is a great post-processing effect to make your game really stand out. Personally, I'm always a fan of outlines. I think it always looks great. It's got lots of extra features like angle detection and depth fixes to make it look great in every scenario. You can mask which objects have edges and which don't and even customize it alongside custom shaders. Then if you need some environment fire and VFX, check out this one. It features 25 particle prefabs. There are some campfires, some torches, bowls, candles, or really just some fire areas including both with and without smoke. The fire can be in different colors to symbolize different things. Next, here's another pack from Nested Publisher that I really like. This one features some wood industry. This publisher has some really strange, very niche, but also great looking asset packs. This one would be great for some kind of logistics game, or perhaps it could simply be an interesting level in a shooter or an RPG game. It features lots of wood, forests, and some big heavy machinery. Then for another fun effect, here is some color transition. This one looks really unique. It spawns thousands of scales and changes from one color to another. The demo is using a car, but this works on any 3D model. It's using a compute shader, so it should be pretty performant. Or maybe you just need a huge environment for your post apocalyptic game. If so, look at this one. It's a realistic environment. Everything is broken down and rusted. Looks like some kind of desert. I assume this is what the remote cities in the middle of nowhere in the US look like. Personally, I suck at level building, so I really love these assets with some pre-built worlds filled with some really interesting props. There's also a free link where you can try out the free demo to see the whole huge scene. Or if instead you prefer something more medieval, check out this war camp. It looks really cool. If you add some fog and some color grading, this could look straight like the intro from Gladiator. Naturally, this would be perfect for some kind of RTS, or maybe something like Valheim, or really just as a fun environment in an action game, kind of like Rise Son of Rome. Personally, I really enjoy that game. Then if you have some water and boats in your game, check out this visual effect. It features some really realistic ripples and waves. It includes individual effects for all sides of the boat. It says these are to the elements, so it's primarily meant for a relatively calm water and looks great in this video. Or if you're making something more stylized, here is a nice fantasy village. It looks very mystical, very inviting. This one is a huge pack with over 800 assets. It features both exterior and interior, so you can pick this up and build a huge sprawling fantasy village. Then if you're making some third person shooter and you need some animation, check out this one. This one includes over 300 humanoid animations. It features assault rifles, pistols, grenades, RPGs, jump, death animations, and tons more. 
Maybe you can combine that one with this next stylized environment and build some third person shooter, kind of like Fortnite. This has some really nice gardens, very unique bright colors everywhere, definitely a unique environment. This one also includes the characters with a shaman and a villager. Or if you're making something inspired by James Bond or Austin Powers, if so, then look at this cutting laser VFX. This would be great for a scene where your hero character is about to be cut in half, or maybe your hero could use this to cut some glass to do some kind of heist. It looks really good with tons of extra tiny details. Then if you need some 2D characters, look at this one. This contains 100 unique characters. It says that this is an add-on for some kind of character creator system. Although I assume you can just use this pack by itself since it's really just some sprites. You could download and modify my character creator system to make it work in 2D. Or if you're working in 3D, check out this character. It's a really nice shadow mage, definitely looks dark and very imposing. This could be your hero in some kind of anti-hero game, or maybe an intimidating enemy. If you scale this up, it kind of looks like Sauron. It includes both the character and multiple colors. Or maybe you're making some kind of resource gathering game. If so, check out this crystals and gems pack. It features 90 models. There are some blocky crystals, some are spiky, some that look encased in stone, and some that look like some really polished gems. All right, so there's are my top 20 new visual assets on the Unity App Store for December 23. There's links all in the description, and as bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. And don't forget to check out the links in the description for the excellent sales. This humble bundle adds in just two days, so if you want it, definitely get it quickly. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.